Now, this governor is beginning to see the need to complement the role of security agencies with some local vigilante groups, mm. just as we do here. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, let's see what, whether that will stop banditry. Well, I think the, it's also bringing to the fore the fact that um, those who have been calling for state police are not also wrong. Uh, they are not wrong, even though the federal government and politicians have not been able to agree on it. But I think that um, the man is uh, is taking a step in the right direction. Yeah. See, the security insecurity insecurity or security situation that we have in the country today is getting to where it is because Katuna is safe. It's not safe. Yeah. Because I believe that um, Katuna State is the heart of our security architecture in this country. So if that state that houses all the security apparatus exactly. in this country is, is not is not safe. safe, it's not safe. I don't know of any other state that will be safe. So I think that Ubasani is um, taking a step in the right direction, believing believing that those who have been so recruited are not seeing it as another government employment. <laughs> if you see it as a, another government employment, nothing can come out of and it. And then secondly, believing that they will give the the regular security forces, the right intelligence. Yes. And the security forces do not undermine, <laughs> undermine their undermine, complementary yes, role. Yes. Because that is the problem yes. we've had. You remember the OSPAC at uh, MOA local government? Yes. Now, that was uh, disbanded because <clears throat> there were inconsistencies in the yes. activities. Yes. And uh, the, sec the regular security forces did not trust them and advised against their operations and they were dissolved. Mm -hmm. Would, if they are playing a complementary role, they should be allowed to play that complementary role. Let's, let's get your last shot in one minute. Okay, I think that um, talking about the uh, security in Niger security uh, situation in Nigeria, um, there should be more effort geared towards first and foremost the welfare of the security agents. A policeman should be properly fed. The policeman should be properly included. A policeman should be properly housed. The children of policemen and security agencies should have a future. There is no reason why. A policeman should be thinking about what the children will eat while he while he's on duty. There is no reason why a, a soldier should be thinking about how, how the children will go to school while he's out there fighting for the nation. So if the country, if the government can take care of these basic necessities of security agents, because whether we like it or not, these security agents are also human beings. They also face the same thing other people are facing. So if they are also, in addition to the 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 the, the uh, dangers inherent in their job. If they're thinking about how to be safe, how to be safe while doing their job, they shouldn't also not be. They should not be thinking about how their children should feed and how their children should be. As government should take care of that, and I can bet you that once government takes care of that, all this issue of insecurity will um, die down. Of course, the, the guys who are perpetrating insecurity are also doing that, are doing it and getting away with it because some persons in the security apparatus are. Com uh, complimenting what they are doing, uh, selling, selling information to them for money. Why? Because they too don't have enough to feed their family. Exactly.